Welcome back to our eight part video series on how to organize the folders on your computer. So far we've talked about how to plan your folder structure, create your folder structure, and even talked about some folder templates. I'll show you how to move your files from one place to another to get them in the folder structure today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today is part five of our video series that will have eight videos eventually, and I'll be showing you how to move the files from where they're located now to your folder structure. I'll go through a couple different ways to maneuver your screen so that it's easy to do this, and then I'll also go through some tips and tricks about how to move things as we go along. So let's get started. Right now I have open the location of my documents right now, you can see it's just a big pile of documents, all kinds of files. There's pictures and audio files, all types of things. The first thing I'll show you is how to open a second file explorer is what this is called, so that you can see the place it's coming from and the place it's going to in the same screen. So the trick to this is if you hover down and you have this little folder in your shortcuts, you can right click on that. And if you click File Explorer again, it will not go to the one that you have, it will open a new one. This is a great way to get two of these open together. But the next thing we'll do is we'll maneuver to where our folder structure is that we've created. And remember I put mine in Documents and then I created a business folder. So this is where we're going to be moving all of these documents. What I recommend for this type of process is make sure that you always do the same thing. For me, I always have the old area on the left and the new area on the right. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. I'm going to move my picture so this is a little easier for you to see. To make this easiest, you'll want this to be a smaller box. So if you are at this larger size, go up to the right hand corner and restore down is what we want to do. And it should make it smaller. It may not be this exact same size, but it doesn't matter as long as you can get to this big bar here. Yours may be a different color than white, but whatever this is, this is where we want to click and drag this around. So that's what we're going to do. And this is a trick in Windows 10. If you don't have Windows 10, I believe Windows 8 will do this as well. Windows 7, I'm not 100% sure, um, but you could give it a try. This is a trick that's automatically built in to create a split screen. And as I said, I want my new area on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna drag it to the right, and I'm gonna go until that arrow that is my mouse hits the right-hand side and we will see when I do that, see how that little guy popped out. Let me do it one more time so you can see it. You'll see a tiny gray outline pop out that's the whole half of the screen. So I come over here and there it pops out right there. And when I let go, it will know that I want to do a split screen with this one on the right. So I'm going to drop that and it says, okay, yep, we know you want this one on the right hand side. What do you want on the left? And so I already had my other location open. If it's easiest for you to follow along and do exactly that, that's what I recommend. And so it's asking, what do we want on the left? I want this on the left. Now you see we have two file explorers or the folder screens. I've got one on the left, that's my old location. And the one on my right is the new location. So at this point, we are ready to start moving some of our files. And I find it easiest to do this manually uh, and just do it a little at a time because you can purge a little bit as you go. So get rid of some of the things you see that you definitely don't need as you go. Or if it's easier for you to move them all and then purge afterwards, that's fine. It's whatever makes the most sense for you and feels right. Our next trick is figuring out how to select multiple files at once. So if I know that this group here of like five or six things needs to go into my marketing folder here, then I can click on the first one. And actually this looks like that's probably the first one that we want. And I can hold down the shift key and click on the last one. 
and then I can click and drag. Now, let me tell you what's going on here. If you have chosen to put your folder structure inside something like Dropbox, there's nothing wrong with that, but your computer will see that as going from one drive to another drive because Dropbox is kind of considered another drive. So like you have, you can have multiple hard drives in one computer. It's that same idea. It's a cloud drive, Dropboxes or Amazon Drive or OneDrive, whatever it is. Um, if you are on a Windows 10 computer and you automatically are using the OneDrive system, this shouldn't matter. But what I'm explaining is that if you're moving your files into a different drive, you're going to have to do it a little bit differently. So if you are not using like the documents folder on your computer or something, you need to do a cut and paste. So you can right click cut, or we can use our shortcut, which is control X to cut. And you can see these got a little bit faded. And I will put a link to the video where I show a little bit more in detail about these shortcuts. So this is if you are moving it to a different drive, such as Dropbox, Amazon Drive, um, something like that. You want to cut and paste. The reason is, and I'm going to hit escape, if you accidentally chose the wrong things and you did that, you can hit escape and that will release the cut action. The reason I'm going over this is when you move something from one place to another, but it's in the same drive, it will automatically cut and paste them for you. But if you're going from one drive to another drive, you have to cut and paste manually. Um, otherwise, it will just make a copy in both places, which is not what we want to do in this instance. For me, I am moving it from one place in OneDrive to another place, the documents in OneDrive, which is the same as documents on my computer in this case. So I'm going to take these and move them into my marketing folder. If I were to drop them with nothing highlighted, it would put them in this main business folder. But if I hover over marketing, it will automatically highlight that. And when I drop these, you'll see they removed them from over here because it did an automatic cut and then it pasted it into my marketing folder. And I can check that by going in there. This is my preferred way of doing this kind of work just because I can see more about everything over here on the left and I can clean things up as I go. And it's, it's pretty clean to see what's going on on the right hand side. Let me show you another option if you'd rather not do this split screen. If you're not comfortable with the split screen option, another thing that you can do is use your sidebar here on the left. So we're going to have this main area be where things are coming from. And then we're gonna use the left sidebar as where they're going to. So what I mean by this is I'm going to my documents. And if I click the little arrow next to it, it opens it up so I can see everything that's in the My Documents folder. I can find my business folder. I can even click the little arrow next to that to see the folders that are under it. And now I can click and drag over to this area. This is a little more detail oriented. You have to be real careful, take your time um, because it can be easy to drop things in the wrong place, but you can certainly do it this way. If you don't need to check that things are going where they need to go, then this is a good way to do it. If you're comfortable and you feel like you could whip right through this, then you can do it this way. The other way allows you to look inside a folder and double check things as you go. And that's why I prefer that way, but this way works just the same. So let's say from here to here, I'm gonna use my whole, my shift trick here. And let's say I knew these needed to be in the financial. I can click and drag, same idea. If I need to put it in a folder, I can wait until the folder is highlighted. If I need to put it in the main folder, it's a little different. I will put it in the business folder and make sure that's highlighted. That's my primary folder. You see how it's indented the furthest to the left. And then these are subfolders under that. In this case, I want it under financial. So I will drop those in the same way that we talked about before. They are in the same drive. So it moved everything rather than copying it. The trick if the documents are not right next to each other because shift won't work in that instance, you can use the control key. The way that I recommend remembering this is that control starts with C and I call this cherry picking. You're gonna cherry pick which files you want to move. 
And so we're gonna hold down control. We click the first one, just like regular, hold down control, and then we can cherry pick whatever we need from other locations. And oh, I forgot one up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Once you're ready to move everything, let go of the control key and then click anywhere in the blue space. And we're gonna move these, we're gonna move these into the main business folder. Let's do that now. Click, drag, we're gonna drop it into the main business folder. And then what I can do at this point is if I'm ready to go double check everything, I can just click my little shortcut over here on the left and it takes me to that folder. This is why this way you can't really check easily back and forth because then you'll have to go maneuver back to where your original location was. So there's a lot of back and forth if you need to check things here. That's why I recommend the split screen if you want to check along the way. As you can see, the ones that I used control to move are right here. The first set that I moved are here. And then that other set that we moved to financial is right here. In the next video, I'll show you what to do with duplicates because certain things will happen as you're starting to merge everything together. If there are duplicates, you'll get a pop-up in Windows that'll tell you that there's a duplicate. I'll talk a little bit more about that and then also some other ways that you can try to find your duplicates. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions in the comments area and I'll get back to you with an answer as soon as I can. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. This is especially important if you are following along with our series and need to know when the new videos are posted. Once you click that red button for the subscribe, then it will have a bell icon. If you click that, you'll get those notifications each week when the new videos are posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.